Lady Glow and I-360. They're in the hallway. Where are you? Don't you fucking dare float off! Not now. Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? Yep. I'll just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See, you decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone not, blast the fucking door. No warning. Not keen on us ending up like Takamura. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. Are you asleep? Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to here, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that... blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So, you were saying... got a message? <sighs> Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <laughs> must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Hanako. That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. I'm sorry. I know this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a Tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Will you sit silent, just so? Decided already. Is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I... Obliged you to cooperate. Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi. Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. 
Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer. Using her modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? Let us meet in person, at Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? Think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka meets Barton here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. Got a few more words about the porcelain cunt. Fuck! <coughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Oh. Ah. Uh, Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. <sighs> Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in uh, Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizine in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. The Grand Imperial Mall. <laughs> Did you want to pop the pill? 
Cooling or chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Acid rain dulling your skin? Head on down to Body Cure for our state of the art rejuvenation treatment. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Huh. Huh. Fifty years back. Mexican conflict. When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So, that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea? Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Last time we saw him... Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. Not sure it's something Rogue would bother with these days. She delegates. Why stick her neck out for this? Or at all? Cause I'll ask her to, personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's. Hey, Satan kicked me out of hell. Thought I'd swing by. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Need to think it. Sure, thanks. This is important to me, V. Just get me to the afterlife and hop in the back seat for a bit. That's all. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. The hotel pissed to Sophia. Is that right? Mm-hmm. 
Good place to die. Just not today. Life's pointless, anyway. Looking to get chipped. Mm-hmm, and? And? What? You're a ripper, aren't you? Yes, for my people. I'll make it worth your while. Is that so? Worth it by how much? Not a bad looking clinic you got here. One of the best in the whole city. Surprised, eh? People think Pacifica is the third world. Children playing barefoot among ruin, but they can't see the street that lies dormant here. One day, they shall reckon with it.
V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Garad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Yeah. After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Your leader gets nabbed and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures.
It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up. Sheesh. Okay. The rap. We are the cavalry riding to the rest. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets. Fly they are many, we are few, so we'll need to look. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep, let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, 
yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just. That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range.
Marshal. Okay, you're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. There's a sniper okay. perched in the main Tower. building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security camps. Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time.
Found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Same thing, day in, day out. Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time.
on him. Is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar. Some ice cold hooch. And a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. Pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. That's Brewing to be a category five. I know. Right. Get out of the building. I'll be right there.
Middle of a shitstorm down here. We're going to be a Category 5. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. You're making a mistake. Another you're one. Serious right now? Those devils want us to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chopping at our tail. Fuck. One way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready. We 
see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your lens? You don't know that. Hey, it worked! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this job burned. See? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. <sighs> it's and not you the time for this. Your own, you're well, both exhausted. That would have been the end of Maybe me. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. You gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so... Seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference... Is not in the ammo. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now... I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about?
To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget and what it's like. You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them? I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. No, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? No. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Just not want to kick back and relax, are you? It's not my style, no. I'm back with the clan, sure, but I have things to do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp, whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. 
So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Thank mm -hmm. you. 